Welcome to our tech tutorial. Today, we're tackling an interesting question from a developer who wants to upload files to AWS S3 without using access and secret keys. They mentioned that while they can easily upload files using the AWS CLI command, they encounter issues when trying to do the same in Java. Let's dive into the details of this challenge and explore how to overcome it. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hoping finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy, just like me, and work through to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. To upload a file to AWS S3 without using access and secret keys, we can leverage the default credentials provided by the AWS environment. This is particularly useful when running code on an AWS service like EC2 or Lambda. First, ensure that your AWS environment has the necessary permissions to access the S3 bucket. This is typically done through an IAM role assigned to your instance or service. In your Java code, you can use the default AWS credentials provider chain, which automatically retrieves the credentials from the environment. Here's how you can set it up. Now let's write the code to upload a file. You can use the put object method of the Amazon S3 client to upload your file to the specified bucket. Finally, run your Java application. If everything is set up correctly, your file should upload to S3 without needing to specify access and secret keys. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To upload to AWS S3 without access and secret keys in Java, you can use the AWS Credentials Provider chain. It checks for credentials in a specific order. First, it looks for environment variables like AWS Access Key ID and AWS Secret Access Key, which are recommended for all AWS SDKs. Next, it checks Java system properties for AWS Access Key ID and AWS Secret Key. Then it looks for a credentials file in the default location, which is shared by all AWS SDKs. It also checks for credentials delivered through the EC2 container service and instance profile credentials from the EC2 metadata service. Make sure to specify valid credentials in one of these methods. For more details, check the AWS documentation. And that's it guys. We've gone through, answered your questions, and hopefully found that solution you're looking for. If we did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one.